Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Old James here, and today we are back in about the Killer. And I hope you are having a great Thanksgiving break so far. But we're gonna be talking about today is how to get a win trade every time in of the Killer. So a lot of you ask, um, how can I get better at trading? And it's honestly not that hard. Like. The, the what um we're gonna go over all the tips and tricks to like get a win every time and uh trade in they get better better at trading all that stuff uh but if you don't believe me that's fine but these are tips and tricks of how to get better at trading like i said and that is how i build it up my inventory to like really good um the point is is that most of the stuff i have I actually bought myself but i did uh, gain a lot of value as well, but let's just get right into of uh, the video Alrighty guys, so the first tip I have for you guys is To look at the survive the killer value list because you're not gonna get a win trade or you know Know anything about values if you don't check out this value list and this tells you Literally all the nice values the demand for it and how it's doing so you might want to check out this value list and thanks to Jesse statics and you know other people that this value list is here okay but i'm just going to show you guys an example here if you go to items uh they actually updated their value list like like again like I, I don't know when but it looks way better like this and it shows you all the knives and survive the killer and what their value is so if you are trading and let's say someone's trading you like a cold wings of cupid and you're like okay how much is that worth that's 130,000 but you, let's say you offer a heart stopper for a that's 100,000 and they accept it then you're winning because uh cold wings is more it's 30,000 more and it, as you see it um it's lower in value apparently but i don't see that happening yet but um but I'd say it's a uh, not a fair but a win trade because each of the um, items demands are normal as you see and the both of the items values hasn't crashed at all recently. Okay, and they also have other uh, for like not just knives but they also have the killers values, the shop killer values, the shop knife values, cabins, crate knives, all that stuff. But yeah, it's all up here. But I'll leave a link in the description of this value list so you guys can find it. But that's my first tip and the most important one of always how to get win trade is knowing your values. All right, guys. Um, this next tip I have for you guys, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but I just want to spot it on with you guys. But um, how to get always a win trade? Um, when you're trading for any knife you want or what you're trading for what you offer make sure it's always under value for what you're getting so like let's say you're trading a hundred thousand uh k value knife for a hundred and five k value knife and they accept it you're winning uh five thousand values so i'll just take it because that's how you build up your inventory it, you can't just do it in a day it takes time but um, my tip is just always take trades if you're winning value in a way e even if it's like a thousand or, or 500 it's still winning value okay okay so that's probably all i got for you this video i don't really have any more tips because always winning a trade is not possible sometimes you're just gonna have to uh pay fair price but that's my two tips for you guys so i hope this video helped you guys and if it did leave a like because it'll help out this video and subscribe if you want to because it helps me out in the channel and i appreciate you guys but thank you for watching this video guys and i'll see you guys in the next one